Moving is already hard, but when you bring a bed of fish into the equation, it feels like it's going to be even more difficult and I can totally understand that. So I wanted to come on here today and share with you exactly how I do it to show you that there is a way to safely and efficiently move your bed of fish to your new home. The first thing you want to look at is your bed of fish and you probably want to know when should he eat? Should I feed him during the move? Should I feed him before the move? The answer to that would be to feed him the day before the move. Now, a lot of betta fish owners feed their betta every other day anyway, so if they need to skip a day or two depending on the length of the move, that's totally fine. He'll be alright. Really, all you need to do the day before the move is feed your betta fish. The next morning when you get up, you'll probably be getting up a little bit early anyway, but if not, I recommend getting up a little early because getting your betta fish ready to go will usually take about an hour. It just depends on how fast you are. So you want to allow yourself at least an hour to get your betta fish ready. Like in my previous video where I showed you how to get your betta fish out of the house, how to have a little escape route plan, when you are moving your bed of fish, you can use the exact same method. You can take a ball jar or a jar or a cup or some empty Tupperware container to move your bed of fish. Now, I do recommend something that's glass because you just prevent anything leaking out. Ball jars are, in my opinion, just the best option. What you want to do is take a ball jar and that morning go ahead and get them in there. Scoop up a little water and take a plant or two from your tank. If you have a planted tank, take a few plants and put it in there. It kind of helps to cushion them as well as just help them feel a little bit safer. I didn't really worry about heating or filtration at this point just because the move only took me a day or two and he will be fine as long as you keep him inside, indoors, somewhere where it's at least 75 degrees. After you get up, you need to unplug everything from the wall, get all the wires out, get your butt fish in the jar, put a few plants in there, and then set him aside. Now you need to take care of the tank. And before you take all the water out, don't do this. If you already have a cycled tank, you don't want to take all that water out and then take it to the new house and fill it up. Your tank isn't going to be cycled and that could harm or kill your betta fish. So what you want to do is you want to have at least 50% of the original tank water with you. Now there are a few ways that you can go about this. You could siphon out 50% of your tank. If you have a five gallon, it's much more manageable than say a 10 gallon. But let's just say you have a five gallon tank, you're going to want to siphon out about 50% so wait till it's about half filled with water and then stop. You can toss that water or water your plants with it, whatever you want to do. And keep the water in there. If you can lift it and it's not too heavy with the water in there, keep it in there. That way you can keep your live plants in there as well and you won't have to transfer them to a bag or a box. If you do need to do that, you can go ahead and just take some plants out, put them in their own individual baggies, in their individual boxes. But I find that it's just easy if you can keep it in the tank. Now if you have a heavier tank, probably what you're going to want to do is siphon out 50% of the water, keep that 50% in there, and then distribute it to different gallon jugs. You could put it in some larger containers, things that are easier to move on their own. That way when you get to your destination, you just take the bottles of water dump them in and then you add 50% of your newly filtered water. That way you don't lose 50% of your water, you just keep it distributed in different jugs so that you can then lift everything but then put it back in once you are moved into your new house. Now after you have the water taken care of, either you're going to keep 50% in the tank or you distribute it into jugs, you want to get a box for your tank. Now you don't have to close the tank up but I find lifting a box with the tank inside is just a whole lot easier than lifting the tank itself. Because if you have a box that's just a little bit larger than the tank is, you can tuck all the wires down inside, you can take the lid off if you need to, stick the lid down in there. It's just a whole lot easier. So find yourself a box, it can be deep, it can be shallow, it doesn't really matter, just enough so that you can hold the tank and keep the wires just in there and tucked away safely. After you do that, find another smaller box that you can hold if you want. This this step is kind of optional, but because at the time I moved, I had a bed of fish, I had several tank mates, so I had about three different ball jars that I needed to carry with me, so I got a smaller cardboard box and I put those ball jars inside. 
Now, you don't wanna keep the lid screwed on the whole way. So as you travel, keep your bedfish close to you. And then periodically when your truck or car is either at a stoplight or it's not moving, take the lid off, let some air kind of flow in there and you, then you can put the lid on. Really, the lid is only just a precaution to keep them from jumping out or to keep the water from sloshing around. Keep your fish with you. Where your tank goes really just depends on you. I would usually just put it in the back of the car that I'm riding in or somewhere stable in the car. You really don't want to put it on top of anything, especially if you kept water inside because you don't want it tipping and you don't want the water falling out everywhere. So put it somewhere stable. I recommend the floor of your car or just the bottom of your truck. Keep it easily accessible. Make sure it's one of the first things that you can get out and take to your new home so that you can go ahead and get it kind of set up in your room, wherever your room is going. You can set it on the floor or like I did, set up your desk or wherever you normally keep the tank. Set that up first. That way you can have it all set up. Then put your tank on there get the tank set up, hooked up, go get the water, pour it in, make sure you put all the necessary chemicals, especially the dechlorinator in the new water, dump it in, plug everything in, heater, filter, light. You don't necessarily have to put your bed in right away. I would wait just a little bit until you have everything situated. Then if you have had your tank plugged in for a while and the water's now warmer than the water that is in your bed's jar, take the jar and just kind of float it in the tank and don't worry too much about getting rid of the water that's in the ball jar. You can just pour it right in after your betta fish is acclimated. But make sure you do that first, especially if the tank water in your aquarium is now warm because you've had it plugged up for a while. After that, you can add your betta fish and you are done. It is relatively simple. I think the main stressor here is worrying about your betta fish hoping that he will stay safe. But as long as you have your eye on him, as long as you have him in a jar, put some few plants in there, he'll be totally fine. Just make sure that as soon as you get to the house, you set up the tank and you will be good to go. If you would like me to further illustrate a point, if you felt a little bit confused, or if there are a few more questions you have about moving your betta fish, put them in the comments. I always answer the comments as soon as I see them or as soon as YouTube notifies me that they are there. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful move if you are moving and congratulations. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. I post new videos every Sunday. I also have an Instagram, my Facebook group, Pinterest, all of that will be linked in the description for you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.